I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens and bring back the native plants. Community church gardens. I have faith in seeds. Very good things will come from this. Delta Green is the technical partner. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009. And thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, at the heart of this work is a group of students from Northern Michigan University. My name is Tom Merkel. My name is Caitlin Bingner. I'm Adam Magnuson. But we will be working with tribes, especially Kiwana Bay, and I want to honor them. Expect great wonders. Well, I would like to welcome you all this morning, I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009, and thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, we've been given the opportunity to continue the work in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens. At the heart of this work is a group of students. And in a moment, I'm going to introduce them to you and then they will introduce our representatives that come from our various faith traditions. But I'd like to begin by just a comment and a reflection on some writings and contributions from a Roman Catholic theologian by the name of Thomas Berry. Berry began the religious studies program at Fordham University and he was awarded uh, right before his death in the early uh, part of the century uh, of the award from the United Nations for an outstanding contribution to protect the environment. What Berry suggested was that we are in a time of what he called the great work, the great work. And it has to do with reconnecting with the earth and becoming more responsible and more creative stewards of the creation that we find ourselves living in. Barry was a very prophetic voice. He called this the great work today as part of uh, our faith communities to join with other environmental groups and organizations to bring our gifts, rituals of meaning, networks of volunteers, and hands-on projects to help make this beautiful promise unfold. I know that very good things will come from this. That is community church gardens, whether it be a vegetable garden, a healing garden, a meditation garden, herb garden. My native plant garden in Milwaukee is about 20 feet by 15 feet, and it is just a delight for me to see my workers in there. In the morning and coming back in the evening, the male bombus or bumblebees roost. My garden serves as a repository for those native bees and other pollinators for my whole urban community. These small native gardens serve as the pollinator source for the vegetable garden, not just in that churchyard, but in the neighborhood. And that is really a delightful thing. Those church lots and other uh, facilities related to that really do matter, and what we are doing really 